Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Design. I've got a cute little treat box for your fall gift giving. Um, I am using the Changing Leaves bundle this month or this week um, on my blog. So if you're looking for ideas, make sure you go back over to my blog if you're watching on YouTube to check them out. Uh, this is a really fun bundle. It includes an embossing folder. We're not going to use the embossing folder this time, uh, but we are going to use that stamp right there. I changed the sentiment a little bit. I wanted um, a larger kind of round sentiment, so I'm using the thank you from the something fancy uh, sentiment set. Okay, first things first, let's make our box. You're going to need a piece of wild wheat. This is one of our in colors. Let me move all my markers out of the way. I always forget to get those out of the way. This piece measures six and a half by 11. We're gonna score the long side at one and a half, four and three fourths, six and a fourth, and nine and a half. Turn to the short side and score it at one and a half and five. This is gonna be your typical clamshell box where one side uh, folds over the other side. I'm just getting my supplies out. I don't know why I'm not prepared today. Um, we've made this box many times. I designed this one specifically. I didn't even tell you what's inside, did I? Okay, well, I will tell you. Let me burnish all my lines. I made this box specifically for something I found at Target. Um, and what I found out is that it's not necessarily, I, I saw that it had a um, pumpkin, so immediately I grabbed it, but really it's butterscotch crimpets and uh, they're made by Tasty Cake. On my blog, I have a link for you where you can go enter your zip code and it'll tell you where in your area you can find these. And they're actually not seasonal. They just threw a pumpkin some Halloween stuff on the packaging to make you think it was. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know, I feel like butterscotch is a good flavor for the fall. So that's what's inside here. Wouldn't that be good with a cup of coffee in the afternoon? All right, once you have um, burnished your lines, we're gonna take our paper snips and we're gonna cut all those lines. Boy, I did a terrible job cutting that straight. Let's try that again. So cut all those lines, but before you go to the other side, we're gonna cut some corners off. Okay, on the outside, we're gonna cut the corners like that. Just the, just the inside corner on the outside tabs. And then we're gonna take this one and cut both corners off, okay? I'll cut up and then, oops, I did the wrong one. Well, you know what? Let's see, let's see. I think it'll be okay. Cut the inside corner off. You know, I could restart the video, but you guys know me. Imperfect is the way to go. It's a lot less stressful than trying to be perfect, right? All right, trim this one. Let's see if I can get it right this time. All right, this time we're just doing the inside corner like that. <laughs> okay, there's your piece. Grab your liquid glue and I'm gonna use some of my clothespins. And I'm gonna start down here. It doesn't matter which side you start on because they're all the same. And I'm gonna put liquid glue on the outside and then I'm gonna fold in and fold up into the sides. And I like to keep these clothespins around because they help me keep things held together. Now you can use different adhesive, so you don't need the clothespins, but here in South Texas where I live, it's very humid and I have found that this is the only glue, this is the only adhesive that won't come apart later on. That doesn't pop out open when it gets nice and muggy. All right, and then over here, we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold these into the sides like that. And then you'll see the box take shape. Like that. Okay, so there's your box. We're gonna set it aside to dry and we'll make our cute little decorations. All right, let's do our stamping. I'm gonna stamp this in this leaf in memento black on basic white and we're going to color it and i will tell you that it's very easy to color it's almost like a little puzzle you're going to color each segment 
either with wild wheat, copper clay, or Cajun craze. And I just start and just kind of randomly start coloring in segments, okay? No rhyme or reason, no pattern really, just kind of trying to spread them out. Now I'm using my bullet end of, the mark, of my marker. Um, these are little spaces and I think that you'll have the most success that way. All right, now I'm gonna take the light wild wheat and color in some more segments. And we're just gonna keep going like this until all of our segments are colored in. Okay, and then you can switch over to, um, let's see, I can't tell if I used Cajun craze or copper clay. I think it's copper clay. I just made this project two days ago. You'd think I'd be able to remember that. There we go, yeah, definitely copper clay. All right, I'm gonna continue to color. I'll speed up the video and we'll continue the project when I'm done. All right. Once you have that done, you want to get your cut and emboss machine. And this die is a little bit different than your normal die set because it's all connected. The three leaves are connected. And the reason why they are connected is because the embossing folder, you can lay this down in the embossing folder and it'll cut out the three leaves all at once. Um, that is really a cool aspect of this bundle, but we're just gonna use the die to cut out one of the individual colored leaves. So to do that, it takes a little bit of manipulation. Make sure your die isn't sticking out on the edge um, before you run it through. And I like to add just a little bit of post-it tape to keep it there in place so it doesn't slip around. All right, there we go. Isn't that fun? Almost like stained glass. It looks a little bit like stained glass. Okay, let's see if our box is ready to go. Yep, perfect fit. Oops, let's turn it this way. Perfect fit that way. All right, we're going to lay that down like that. Now I have got this really fun paper. This is our Regal Floral paper. And on the back side, you'll see those flowers. You'll notice in the catalog, um, when you're looking, it's very floral, lots of floral patterns. But what you don't see are the backside patterns. Really good, rich, um, monochromatic tones that you can use that kind of give a, a more subtle look than the floral. All right, you're going to want to cut out the leaves from uh, copper clay and a little stem from Cajun Craze. And then we've got this white circle. The circle is also included in this die set. And we're just going to stamp that thank you right there in the middle in Cajun Craze. Now, I have a wonderful mailman who comes to my door to pick up all of my mailed kits. It's always like to have things for him. So that's what I plan to do with this little treat box is to give it to him. Um, we're going to also add in some gold leaves. Now, notice I'm going to put my dimensionals right on top. It's going to hold those down. All right, and then let's take this one. And we can kind of stick it like that. And then we can take our gold leaves. Let's add another dimensional. The dimensionals are going to really hold the leaf and the circle. But they're also serving double duty. We put these leaves on. Okay, we'll put one leaf like that. And one leaf like that. And then we'll stick our leaf. Let's go a little bit higher like that. And then we'll stick our, oh, we don't need three. Put our circle right there. And then last but not least, we've got wild wheat ribbon. I am really loving this ribbon. I'm using it a lot. It looks gold. But of course we're using wild wheat cardstock, so it matches perfectly. 
And you just want to add this on with a glue dot like that and you're done. All right, you guys, there you go. An easy fall treat box using the Changing Leaves Bundle. The Changing Leaves Bundle will only be found online. You can't find it in the catalog. So make sure you go to the Stampin' Up! website to get that. All right, click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There's a free PDF that has the measurements and the supply list. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.